What's up, guys? Welcome back for the next episode of Ninja Village. We are back. Okay, so what do we have here? Get some more stuff for the merchant. We've got the bandana. Gives extra attack, but not much for defense. Um, that's headgear. So that's a different equipment slot from uh, the body. So we might as well. Uh, we can also start researching some other things as well. Um, oh yeah, make sure you always change your... Uh, your stock whenever you get new uh, things researched. You don't want to you know, research things and then totally mess that up. So we're just kind of waiting on funds right now. Uh, we'll fund with a Shogunate uh, after, uh, after a little bit here. Pretty close anyway. Alright, there we go. Thank you! Set about organizing an army at once. It should be ready shortly. So that army is the thing that's going to make combat pretty interesting to watch. We can uh, go through the research and actually get uh, different members to our uh, our army. And there's some there's some pretty interesting kind of builds you can do with the uh, the army system in this game. Um, you can almost think of combat in this game like rock paper scissors, right? Uh, different units have different strengths and different weaknesses versus different strengths and, you know, different weaknesses of different units and whatnot, um, which I just basically explained rock, paper, scissors, and who here doesn't know the rules of rock, paper, scissors? Anyway, uh, the Shogunate's base is complete. The Shogunate has evidently set up a base by opening the map by selecting the map button. Will do. All right. Open the map to view info on the Warlord's bases as well as your own. To restore the Shogunate, uh, we will have to subjugate the Warlords into swearing fealty to me. Speak freely if you have an opinion on which Warlord we should attack. Well then, let's work to unify the land. We'll do. Alright, so we got a couple options here. We've got the Mori Clan, and we've also got the Ukita Clan. Right now, uh, our army sucks. <laughs> Super duper sucks. So, right now, we're not going to do anything about that. We're just going to let the funds trickle in. And I will explain a little bit more about the combat system. So, the way combat in this game works is, like I said before, rock, paper, scissors. Uh, you have got, uh, let's see, infantry, archers, riflemen, and cavalry. Oh, Seeker, that was the, uh, the map for the Shogunate and all that. Um, we uh, allied ourselves with the Shogunate funded him, and uh, now he's giving us access to fighting other warlords in the region. Um, oh, the game isn't paused, by the way, when you're on the screen, so you can still, you know, do whatever. But, uh, anyway. Anyway, uh, so, like I was saying, you have got uh, infantry, archers, gunners, and cavalry in that order. Now, the way that attacks work in this game is uh, different units will have different orders of attack. So, uh, the orders go gunners, archers, infantry, and then cavalry. Uh, so, uh, archers are good against, I believe it's infantry. Gunners are good against infantry. Infantry are good against archers and gunners. And, uh, Cavalry, this is not Ghost, Little Mama, why do you still see Ghost as the title? Um, I changed that, at least I should have changed that, let me see if it's still saying Ghost. No, it's, it's saying Ninja Village. Um, but, uh, Cavalry goes last, and the way Cavalry works is, uh, Rockman, is this the Zanzibar man hidden in the trees? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um... And the way cavalry works is, um, it's gonna be a little while till we see cavalry, but they come in charging last and, uh, just try to barrel through all your infantrymen. Um, no, it's a damn joke. No, no, little mama, your joke is bad, and you should feel bad <laughs> for, for making that joke. But anyway, um, so yeah, combat, it'll make more sense, um, once you actually see it in motion. Um, so, okay, one thing you want to notice is... Right now, our shops are pretty much staying completely stocked up. You know, we don't have to work super hard at it. Uh, now, 
there's a way to alleviate that, and the way to do that is to build more shops to actually use up your resources. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that just yet, because uh, as you can see, we have a couple fields that don't really get, you know, used up. Um, we could, you know, maybe get rid of some of those fields. We could build another tea shop to use up more resources. Um, right now, I think we're, we're okay. Anyway, a new issue of Ninja News is available. Greetings! This missive comes to you from a secret dig site of some buried gold. On that note, allow me to share a tip on making money. Something of, on the mind of every village leader. It's obvious, really. If you have villagers with a strong work ethic, build them houses near workshops and fields. The stronger their work ethic, the harder they work and the faster they walk. If you spot someone who seems to have too much free time, try instilling a better work ethic through training. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That also has to deal with uh, your equipment as well. Um, let's see. Do I have anybody with a particularly decent work stat here other than Maru? No. Nishi kind of does. Uh, we can actually take his weapon and give him a scythe. That'll give him a plus eight to his work. Where... Where do you live? Where's you? Where do you live? Oh, okay, you live pretty close to the fields and whatnot. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so uh, it should be fairly obvious, but uh, as they work, their stamina goes down. Uh, as their stamina goes down, uh, they have to recover, and that's uh, where the recovery stat for your houses comes in. The better your recovery stat, the better that little bar fills. So anyway, uh, Rockman, Ninja News, not even trying to hide the fact that your villagers are ninja. Yeah, well, it was a different time back then, you know. We're not all just wearing headbands and, you know, saying, believe it, and running around fighting people. <laughs> we got lives to lead, man. Anyway, we have a decent amount of money. Um, what do we have here? We get bamboo spears for everybody. Herbs are pretty dece. Pretty dece. Uh, sweet jelly. Sweet jelly sells for a little bit more, but it does take twice the amount of food to produce it. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Sure, why not? Okay, we can only research one thing at a time. Okay, masks for marksmanship. We don't have any bows available yet useless to us. I don't really want to invest in Wakazashis just yet, because uh, I think uh, I think the bamboo spears are what we're going to go ahead and equip everybody with. The extra defense and all that will come in handy. I think I'm going to try and make this shot here. Uh, do the jelly. There we go. This one's still going to be doing bean soup. So that's fine. Right now, we just need all of our uh, all of our villagers to go ahead and produce us some sweet jelly. Right, so, as you can see, for the same amount of work that they put in, uh, they didn't get nearly as much sweet jelly out here. But uh, it will make us a little bit more money. So that's good. Uh, we will be researching the bamboo spear now. <coughs> Seeker Hound. To be technical ninja, our mercenaries and thus people had to know who was a ninja. In a sense, yes. Alright, let's, uh... There we go. There's the bamboo spear. Incidentally, I brought something along we completed during our research. I hope you find it useful. That happens every time you do that. Uh, where's our ramen shop? Or just a meat shop for meat? Well, where are we gonna get the meat? People? We're gonna get pe the people meat, Rockman. Is that what we're gonna sell? You see any cows around here? To quote uh, Demolition Man. Let me get herbs. Then we'll have to save up a little bit of money and start equipping people with, uh, you know, various things. John right now is fine with the axe. already got a long spear, so that's fine. You can have that, though. A little bit less attack, but uh, the defense will be nice. It's cost 
hundred apiece, huh? Great. Mm -hmm. So one thing you can do, by the way, is uh, while all your villagers are in the village, you can equip them with uh, scythes. Um, currently unavailable right now because we don't have any more. Oh no! But uh, yeah, that's that's one thing you could do. You could equip them with things that they will use you know, while they are uh, in the village. <laughs> See here, believe it. Yeah, exactly. You understand. Right, our herb. Herb will go into the special slot. Now the way that the herb works is uh, in the middle of combat they will uh, gain. HP back. It's very, very nice to have. Uh, so we're going to put that on uh, our fighters here. Basically, anybody with a lot of HP or a lot of attack I'm going to have as our fighters. Uh, I believe you can bring five fighters with you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try our darndest here. Figure that out. And I guess you... Marksman of 24, that's pretty good. Now we're basically out of money. Oh, my villagers, make me money. Oh, man, well, you live in a goddamn forest, Zans. Deer and mountain lion out there. Oh, and boar. Yeah. Yeah. I would hardly call, you know, five trees a forest. But, uh, hey, you know what? To each their own. Each their own. So far, it's going all right. So one thing I haven't really figured out is how villagers will prioritize which, you know, production house and which tea shop and stuff like that they'll go to. It's a little, a little up in the air. Uh, anyway, what do we have here? Uh, we got our five fighters basically set up. Mm -hmm. yeah, why not? We'll do that. Everybody will have either a spear or something else. Uh, the next thing we got to do is get, uh, you know, bandanas and whatnot. Let's go ahead and get this. Oh, and it all shows up on the characters as well. Um, <clears throat> that was something I thought was pretty cool. Give everybody this, and then we need to also give them armor as well, but that's expensive. We need at least 500G in order to make that a pro, uh, uh, you know, a thing we will do. Yeah, everything that you uh, give your villagers will uh, actually equip on them, which is pretty cool. Some of the Kairosop games don't, uh, don't actually do that, but... Uh, Hey, this one does. I think that's that's pretty cool. Sold out. Oh no! Quick, get in there. Oh no! Too little, too late. That merchant already left. Jerks. All right. A recent interview: An architect renowned for designing entire castle towns revealed that cherry trees and flower beds can impart positive effects on nearby buildings. For houses, they can help occupants recover energy more quickly. For fields and workshops, they can boost production. And in the case of shops, they can affect prices or influence customers to buy more. Give it a try. Hey, I already did that, my dude. Already did that. Nothing to research. That is fine. Uh, <clears throat> I guess we could train some of our people, too. Uh, might be a good idea. How dare you, Zans? You're refusing to give your people masks in the middle of this pandemic? Okay. If I had archers, that would be a different argument. <laughs> How dare you? Alright. Uh, we should probably get all our level 1 people up to level 2 before anything else, right? Do need to give everybody breastplates. That's gonna take a while, though. I feel like uh, could get another tea shop going. Might not be a bad idea. 
Right now I'm just trying to see which fields are actually being pulled from and which ones aren't. These side fields aren't really getting touched. I guess if I really wanted to give them something to do, I could uh, allow sales on uh, all of our fields. And if the merchants so choose, they can go and pull directly from our fields. You have like 68 to 72 trees in your village. <laughs> Oh, are you counting each square as four trees? Four individual trees? Right, I, I can see where you're coming from if you're, if you're counting that. That's still not a forest, man. At most, that's a grove. Okay? <laughs> Be real with me here. What do we got here? Oh, we got hairpins. Sweet. Hairpins are pretty cool. Just extra HP. I mean, you can't really be too mad about that. Uh, we are going to need to equip some uh, breastplates on our fighters, though. These guys, they don't, they don't have anything, just because they're not really attackers. Uh, not really building them to be attackers, so they're fine with what they've got on. You only really need to equip five of your villagers with, uh, with fighting stuff. Anyway, hey, let's get our first attack going, shall we? Um, no time like the present. So we'll get flower gardens and archer operations from this. And this one, we'll get a land deed and armor tech. I think archers are much more important right now. Um, oh, we only have four members? Okay. Never mind. I take it back. Take it back. Uh, they're probably our best fighters right now. Yeah, Shaku isn't great anyway, so that's fine. Uh, eventually, we will gain access to more people in our formation. But anyway, let's do this. Well, then we're off. And it takes them some time to get there. It'll take them a week to get there. For now, our uh, remaining villagers can keep doing what they're doing. Uh, we will turn sales off on our fields. So we only have three villagers right now, and I don't want to run out of all of our fields super quick. This battle should be starting. Hey, okay. Lord Zanzibar, the Shogun's army, has arrived. Yep, our whole 24 strength of our units here. Barely did anything. Asariu invoked strategy and boosted the unit's attack power. You can check what skills uh, have been invoked by selecting the unit's button. I can say you, this is where you can see the skills and whatnot. It's only five percent. Um, one thing I do like though is that uh, you can change uh, where your targeting goes. Uh, we can't really do anything about that just yet, because the infantry only attacks in one direction. Uh, Rockman. Also, where's my character? I want a little Rockman running around. Um, you can't actually change the names of the characters. I'm sorry, Rob. Can't, can't give you a character. Well, you guys are screwed. Charge! John over here, taking an herb. <laughs> that nine health he gained was because of the herb that he has equipped. Once they gain... Or once they go low enough in HP, they uh, they automatically use it. All right, so we got the flower garden. That's wonderful. Flower garden's really useful. And we got archer operations. Archer acquired. Research could add new units to the Shogun's army. Very good. Ranged units in this game are so important. Uka de Clan is now a vassal of the Shogunate. Uh, well done. Here's 480 gold for your trouble. Wonderful. All right, so uh, what this uh, does, one, it's way more expensive than the cherry tree. What this does is it boosts uh, way more than the trees. Uh, so we're going to want to go ahead and do that sooner than later. So uh, I'll tell you what, let's uh, trash this here. Put that down. So as you can see, Flower Garden gives it a plus 10. It's way better. <laughs> Way better. So, around your shops, you definitely want to spend the money. Oh, not in stock. Damn. Damn it. Uh, you can buy those from uh, this boy over here. So, 
since they're special, you need to actually uh, purchase them independent. But it is worth doing, especially for uh, some of your uh, other shops. So yeah, one thing placed down gives you, you know, more than double. Yeah. Yep, this is historically accurate. Ninjas fought over, fought over flower gardens. I mean, hey man, you're not wrong. Uh, we can recruit more people now. Select like recruit from the villagers menu to do so. Hello, I came to collect some wild mountain vegetables. Okay. What a nice village. Maybe I'll just buy the vegetables I need here. And damn straight. Buy our green vegetables. That's all we have here. Green vegetables. Deal with it. Did you get a recovery up? You did. A little bit. Very, very tiny amount. Search green tea, yeah, lovely. Uh, but we are gonna do the archer operations first. Yeah, those, uh, those flower gardens are gonna help out a lot with our sales. 51 a pop? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. And right now, we don't really need another villager to work uh, you know, in our village, so to speak. But, uh, it's just you, Kami Sumichi. You get decent strength. Yes, yeah, sure. Why not? And they just pop into existence, you know, because they're ninja. Put that down. All right, your work is not great, so you're not going to be a super duper work uh, workhorse or anything. But, uh, Hey, another hand, why not? Uh, could build another tea shop. Hey, nice. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so. <laughs> There's uh, Ninja Zan's uh, saying, deal with it. Yep. Mola! Hey, Mola. Happy New Year. Happy New Year and welcome to Ninja Village. Alright, so, forces. Uh, here you can contribute funds to raise troops for the Shogun's army. Select info to see detail about the combat, uh, the role, or the combat role of each unit. Alright, so, archers can shoot over the heads of enemy infantry to attack their rear lines. While not suited to close combat, they're useful for thinning the enemy's rear ranks. Infantry, infantry advances on the enemy and engages their front line in close combat. Can also help shield the rear uh, ranks, so always ensure there are enough infantry troops. Uh, can you, you know, we can't see all the stuff for gunners and cavalry yet, but uh, in my other playthrough, I invested a lot into gunners. Gunners, oh my god, gunners destroyed. Hang on. Belligerent dogs, you understand. Okay, so what could we do to maximize our money making? Mm, another shop, more flower gardens, of course, would be a good idea. Lord Zanzibar received re reports that the Bandit Gang continue to resist. The Bandit Gang, oh no. They're causing trouble for the locals as well. Let's teach them a lesson. That's just extra missions that you can do. Uh, yeah, we should be able to take them. Botech. Botech is very useful. Uh, okay, so for these little, like, skirmishes, so guns beat ninjas? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Guns totally beat ninja. Totally. Yeah, but for these little, uh, little things that you can do, um, you end up, uh, you end up bringing more people with you, which is nice, just because they're not technically, a, like, a shogun fight. Go fight the bandit gang. Won't allow you to disrupt the peace any longer, villains. Do you even know who I am? 
I'm freaking from the Zanzibar clan. Deal with it. <laughs> I like it. That's that's my that's my ninja catchphrase. Look at this guy, one archer. Oh, useless, you impotent fool. Oh, we'll get you next turn, my dude. Absolutely shut down. <laughs> Did not stand a chance. I won't be bad anymore, I promise. Okay, bandit. Okay. Nice. Low tech. And some money. Hell yeah. Okay, so... Greetings, we hope this issue finds you in good health. Today, we'd like to recount a battle we witnessed recently. A certain commander ordered her archers to fire at the enemy cavalry. Their arrows soared high overhead to rain destruction down on the horsemen, wiping out the entire unit. As they fell, every man seemed astonished by being defeated, or at being defeated before he even had a chance to fight. Remember, using your archers flexibly and effectively can be the key to victory. I've never done a run where I focused on archers. I think that could be interesting, though. Could be interesting. Okay, so we can actually research the wooden bow. Let's do that. That way we can diversify our actual villagers, the ones that focus on marksmen for their attributes. And you can find that out uh, through their, uh, their stats and whatnot. Um, Alright, so yeah. See where it says strength and mark there? Uh, strength is their melee attack, and marksman is their... Uh, their ranged attacks. So like Shaku, for instance, Shaku's going to get a bow. Uh, Inu Zu could go ahead and go for either, but I'm probably going to give her a bow. So yeah, once that's done, we'll uh, get that all situated. You don't have to worry about changing class or anything. All you have to do is worry about changing weapons. Yes. So we should only need to buy one. Shaku, you're getting a bow. Inu, you're also getting a bow. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. right, not too bad. Not too bad. Since we have some extra spears laying around, we can go ahead and move that around a little bit. Nobody's right. looking alright. like to buy another flower garden. Anyway, we can get rid of that and put this down. Not bad. Sales plus 36. Uh, Seeker, I don't think I'd focus on archers since they're more support for close combat units. You're not wrong. You do have to have a certain balance. Uh, if you don't have the infantry to back up your archers, your archers will just get wiped out first sign of any infantry getting a whiff of them. Uh, so you do have to be a little careful about that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, man, I haven't talked like this for a while, so uh, throat's getting all dry. Alright. Let's go ahead and research green tea when we get the money for it. Um, right now, I don't know. I mean... Fields aren't like super, super doing a great job. Um, the way that you could also alleviate that is uh, build more production shops. If you have more production shops, that means that you can make more goods from your raw uh, resources. Um, that could be our holdup, but uh, it could also just be bad timing, you know, from villagers or merchants or whatever. But uh, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Could also try to increase production over here. Um, let's see here. I can't remember how much the how much the flowers affect with this, but it's probably a lot. Nah, same amount as the cherry trees. So flowers are definitely more for the shops um, than anything else. But it's, you know, whatever. 
<laughs> Rock man, it, it does make sense that in your previous village you would only focus on guns. You've got no otaku. Hey, take that as a point of pride. Okay, so we can go ahead and up our forces here. Um, as you can see, infantry are a lot cheaper than archers to increase. But uh, for now, I think we're going to go ahead and put our first upgrade into archers. Yeah, swing that. Swing that bow. <laughs> You know, let's put some into infantry, too. I'm pretty sure it's a 20 troop increase every time you do it. Um, so, uh, yeah. I don't know what the ratios are as far as, you know, infantry to archer to gunners to cavalry and whatnot. But, uh, I don't know. Two to one might be a good idea. But, uh, hey, let's see what's going on on the map. What do we got here? We got the Saika clan... We got the uh, Rokaku clan. Uh, Mori clan is pretty tough. They actually have some cavalry. I don't really want to tango with them just yet. Um, we might be able to fight the Saika clan. What do they have here? Gunner orders? Yeah, we're going to attack them. We're definitely going to attack them. Uh, put you for rear. I think Inoki we could swap out, actually. Let's get Shaku in here. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, march! Now, the difference between rear, center, and uh, forward are uh, just positioning in where they take uh, place on the field. Um, it's more or less effective depending on the amount of troops you have. Uh, more effective, the less troops you have. Less effective, obviously, the, the more troops you have. So, uh, okay. Say, for instance, I had, you know, 50, 50 infantry units uh, for the Shogun's army. Not including my actual physical units. Uh, my physical units, if I put them on the forward, they would be taking damage ahead of the Shogun's army. Uh, whereas if I put them to the rear, Shogun's army would take damage before them, you know, they would act as a shield for my units. So, 